welcome to ABCs and 123s. I'm Mrs. Henry and this is Barney. Hello. We are happy to welcome you to our story time today. Yeah. And it's March. I'm very excited because it's March. You know what they say about March, don't you? No. I'm not quite sure either. But it's a new month, and I like things that are new. Well, I think I know what you're thinking of, Barney, but why don't we start with our hello song first? And then I'm going to tell you maybe the, um, the words you, you were thinking of for March. You ready to join me? You can clap your hands and sing along with me, or you can just watch. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, everybody. Yes, I told you I'm so excited. I have to do a cartwheel. Oh, that was a, a very good cartwheel. You are excited. I'm a little excited because, well, it's been raining all week, and today it's not raining. Oh, my gosh, Barney. I think that's what you were thinking of when you were thinking about the month of March. They say that when March comes in like a lion, it goes out like a lamb. Really? That's what they say. Wow, that is amazing. Huh. What does that mean? Well, I think it means if it rains on the first day of March, it's supposed to be sunny on the last day of March. Oh, <clears throat> not getting it. Well, it's okay, Barney. But it did, it, it does make me think of lions. Does it make you think of lions? Yes. But I don't see any lions around here. Well, that's true. <gasps> Wait a minute. Why don't we pretend we're lions? Oh, yeah, I like pretending. That sounds great. Now, Barney, why don't you sit over here? We'll pretend that we're lions. And you know what lions say. They say roar. Are you ready to roar with me? The lion goes roar. The lion goes roar, roar. The lion goes roar, 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 roar. Roar! I don't think I heard you. You want to try that again? You've kind of got how this rhythm goes. Let's try this again. Are you ready? The lion goes roar. The lion goes roar, roar. The lion goes roar, 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 roar. Now here's another one. You know what they do. They pounce. Are you ready to pounce like a lion with me? You can act it out. You can just say it. Or you can even just watch. And pounce just means jump on it. Okay? The lion goes pounce. The lion goes pounce, pounce. The lion goes pounce, 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 pounce. That was some good pouncing, I think. Hmm. After all that roaring and all that pouncing, I think a lion might be a little tired. The lion goes, yawn. The lion goes, yawn, yawn. The lion goes, yawn, 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 yawn. Yawn. Was that a fun rhyme? You know, you can do a rhyme like that. With any animal and with any action, you could even have the lion snore or do many other things. So remember, once you learn a rhyme, change it around. That can be really fun. Did you see Barney back there? He was watching the whole time, weren't you, Barney? Oh, that was fun. All that pouncing and roaring and yawning. Yeah. I still don't see any lions, though. I think we need to better hunt them down. Well, in a kind way, we can go on a lion hunt. We're going on a lion hunt, doesn't that lion sound fun? We'll pretend that we're really walking. I'm just patting my hands on my thighs. Can you try that? 
We're going on a lion hunt to see if we can find one. Stop. Look. Listen, I think I hear something. Is it a lion? <laughs> hey. The lion says, I think we established that a lion says roar. What says? <laughs> A horse. <laughs> well, that is very nice, but we're not going on a horse hunt. We're going on a lion hunt. Why don't you wait over here, my friend? Let's try it again. Remember, you're going to pat your thighs. That's like we're walking. And remember what I was doing like this? It's like I'm looking through binoculars. You can make your eyes look like binoculars, and those help you see very far. All right, let's try it again. We're going on a lion hunt to see if we can find one. Stop, look, listen. Do we hear a roar? Moo, moo. Wait a minute, that's not a lion. What says moo? A cow, a very friendly cow. Well, you are very kind, but we are looking for a lion. Do you want to wait with your friend, the horse? I think we should try it again. Are you ready to walk? Ready to use your binoculars? Remember, we're looking for a lion. We're going on a lion hunt to see if we can find one. Stop. Look, listen. Oink, oink, oink. That is not what a lion says. What says oink? Tell me what it says. Yes, you got it. Oink, 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 oink. Well, aren't you as cute as can be? Oh, but. We are not looking for a pig. We're looking for what? Yes, you said that, a lion. Oink, 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 oink. Oh, you like lions too? Well, why don't you sit over here? We seem to have in a barnyard right now, but that is not where you would normally find a lion. I think we need to look jungle or maybe the zoo. So let's try it again. Are you ready? Pat with your hands. Get your binoculars ready. We're looking for a lion. We're going on a lion hunt to see if we can find one. Stop, look, listen. We did it. We found our lion hunt. We went on a lion hunt. We found a lion. Look at this lion. He has a mane. There's the back of it. He has whiskers and he's golden. What a lovely lion. And what do we say that we found our lion? Yeah. Good job, everybody. Now, there's a very old story about lions. And it might be nice to tell that story right now. This story is literally thousands of years old. I'm gonna move this back a little bit. They told this in ancient Greece. A man named um, Aesop was one of the first to tell this story. And you know what it's called? It's called the lion and the mouse. Mouse, a peewee little mouse? Yes, you're going to hear more about that. Once upon a lot the time, the lion was running, running free. I am so great. I am so great. I am so big. I am so strong. La, 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 la. And while he was frolicking, he ran into somebody very small. It is a mouse. You're right. The lion was not pleased to be run into by that tiny little mouse. I am not pleased. I am big and I am strong. Why are you bumping into me? The 
I'm so sorry. It was an accident. Well, no matter. I am kind of hungry, so he pounced. Ah, I think I'll just have a little mouse snack. <laughs> Mr. Lion, please don't eat me. Why not? I'm hungry. You're small, and you bumped into me. Well, maybe someday I could return the favor. <laughs> Oh, 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 how could a little pipsqueak like you help a big, strong lion like me? That is absurd. But you know what? You did give me a good laugh. I'm feeling very generous. So, okay. I will let you go. I will not eat you. Thank you, mouse. Oh, thank you. Thank you, lion, too. And I promise someday I will help you, too. <laughs> Okay, bye-bye, little one. You keep thinking that. Oh, <laughs> wasn't that cute? That little mouse thought that he could save me somehow, some way, as if the biggest and strongest and mightiest animal in the forest would ever need help from anybody. But if I did, it wouldn't be from a pipsqueak, that's for sure. <laughs> it was cute, though, wasn't it? What a cute little guy. All right, where was I? Oh, yes, I was frolicking, frolicking, frolicking. <laughs> I am so big. I am so strong. I am so great. Wait. It's a net. Oh, a net from a hunter. Oh, no. Okay, I got to admit, hunters can be problems, but it's okay because I am big and I am strong and I am a lion and I am very, very, very smart. So I am going to just get out of this net. Oh, that was, oh, that hurt. It didn't bust the net either. Okay, I'll try it to the side. No, no. And in fact, the more the lion struggled, the tighter the net got. Roar, roar. Oh, I am trampled. Somebody help me. Roar. The other animals heard his cries for help, but they were afraid of the hunters too. And nobody came. Oh, what will the hunters do to me? Roar. Oh, I guess I'm just doomed. No, you're not, sir. I'm going to help you. Oh, it's my little friend, the mouse. Oh, what a kind soul you are, but no one can help me. Certainly not a peewee like you. You must run and save yourself. Not so fast, Mr. Lion. I have an idea. And the, lion, the mouse climbed up to the top of the net, and he has very sharp, pointy teeth. And he began to gnaw on the net. The fibers of the net broke away and the lion scooped up the mouse and carried them both to safety. And after that, the lion bowed and he said, oh, mouse, I was so very wrong. It, you proved that you can be small and mighty. And those two stayed friends forever, the lion and the mouse. Next story is called The Lion and the Mouse. And as I said, there's a lot of tellings of it, but the, one of the first times was told 3,000 years ago in ancient Greece. But I think it's important to know that whether you're big or whether you're small, you can do great things. Well, we're about ready to sing our goodbye song, but I wanted to tell you about something fun you can try. Remember when we were going on our lion hunt and we held up our hands and I'm going to make a suggestion for you in your house or at the playground or outside, whenever you have a chance, make some binoculars and look at something. Look at it very closely through your binoculars. It won't really make it bigger, but it lets you look at something. And then after you've looked very closely, move your hands away. And then you can see everything and how what you were looking at fits in. It's kind of a fun activity. To you. And you know what? You can do it anywhere, like in the car, at the grocery store, in the park, at home in your own bedroom. So give it a try. You'll just get a different perspective on things. 
Did you just hear that? Barney said something. Hold on. Oh, there he is. Okay, Barney. I really liked that story. The lion and the mouse. Wow. And this is March and it is, it did rain on the first day of March. So I guess it, it come in like a lion. Roar. Very good. That was good roaring. I think it's time to say goodbye though. It is time to say goodbye. So we wave goodbye like this. You can wave goodbye like Barney. Are you ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. To all our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. We blow a kiss like this. We blow a kiss like this. To all our friends at story time, we blow a kiss like this. Goodbye, everybody. I will see you next time at ABC's and 123's. It was great to see you all. Mm -hmm.